Hello everyone and welcome to this slightly unusual video from me, but um, I thought it was necessary. Um, if you didn't know, Jerry Anderson unfortunately died yesterday, um, and I thought I'd put this video together to show you the kind of things that he's taught me through his style of making like shows like Thunderbirds and Stingray and Captain Scarlet. Uh, so what you're seeing at the moment is a video I've disabled the audio on, I made a few years ago for a video competition. Um, as I said, I disabled the audio because it's not really relevant to what I want to say. Uh, like to point out the details that are possible with models that I've learned from J. Anderson's filmmaking, like the lighting here, the lights inside the trains, and the lighting on the side of the trains, creating a good effect there, and a realistic effect of reflection. And also little details seen in the foreground and background, it's all important, and it's what Jerry Anderson's filmmaking kind of taught me uh, as a young child and as a young filmmaker as well growing up. And then we're going to move on now to another video I made more recently, um, Again, along similar lines, it's using you know, train models, but this one is a much smaller scaled down um, video with not quite so much detail. That's because um, it's quite a simple little scene, uh, which was a preview for a, which is up on the internet, but is a preview for a project I'm currently working on, uh, admittedly in the production for quite a long time, <laughs> just because I can't, can't seem to find time to finish it off. But um, you know, from light to dark in that shot, for example, with lighting, you know, it's all showing what is possible with just a few. And this is all just done with some torches and some a small model. It's on a very, very small scale, all of this. And even though the kind of camera I'm using isn't actually specifically designed to film models, like you can buy stuff like that, it still it still shows what is possible uh, with a normal video camera. And this is what I think was most inspiring from Jerry Anderson's videos, is that, or for short uh, TV program films, is that you know, not much money is spent on them, and you can achieve great things. So yeah, we're tracking along here, and this is what is all possible with models. A sense of scale is created, even though these are just models, it creates some kind of sense of as if they were real and big. Uh, here we, here, so here's a few shots from a project I'm currently working on. Um, as I say, I put them in this video to kind of show you what can be achieved, the level of depth in here and the lighting. So you've got some quite small sinister lighting there, it becomes more sinister there obviously. And then back in today, it's all the small details as I say which count as well. Um, so all the small details in the buildings, on the models, and also what can be achieved in the movement of models as well. So yeah, small details there for the water churns and the barrels of beer, for example, there. And this is just like very dull lighting to create like a night or evening effect. And uh, now that is especially like what can be achieved. Like you got the foreground objects, you got the background objects, and you know that could easily be a shot from the 1960s industry. And so it's also possible to achieve different levels of depth in the textures of the film. So, you know, you've got background, foreground, movement going on in the mid-foreground. And you can cut to this shot as well, which is, you get the impression is directly next to it, which of course is what it's meant to be. And then you've got reflections there, for example, from the lighting. And the shadows also cause from objects in the foreground onto the background there. So to summarise then, um, basically Jerry, um, I found Jerry Anderson's um, TV shows uh, very inspirational as a young child watching like from the Birds and Stingray. Uh, and I still, do, I still think today that nothing compares and how much they achieve through the use of models, because um, if stuff like that was done for children's TV shows, they'd be horrendously expensive and it wouldn't be economic enough for the television of today. Um, so I still think there will be nothing like it in television terms for children ever again. And it, what inspired me is I hope I've demonstrated in this and you know what is possible here through models. Um, the shot you're seeing now is actually just a really long take where I tried to get something right in the project I'm currently working on. But anyway, um, hopefully what I've achieved is, you know, show you what is possible and what I've learnt from Jerry Anderson's style of filmmaking. And even though I've spent virtually no money on this at all, um, there's much more that could be achieved. Like there could be smoke, there could be clouds, there could be more sophisticated sky and backgrounds. But hopefully what I've shown here is what is possible with just a few models and a bit of patience. <laughs> Not really being well demonstrated here. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you filmmakers out there also more when Anderson's lost like I do. As I doubt we'll ever see anyone like him again. Goodbye and thank you for watching.